Welcome back to Seek Strength and welcome back to the News at Six. We're recording this from uh, sunny Lagos in the south of Portugal to kick off our weightlifting camp. And today, mostly weightlifting because it's a weightlifting camp and it feels right to do mostly weightlifting yeah. on the new show. So yes. we're going to start off with the great, one of my favourite lifters, Andrei Ramnoff. Very nice guy. Phenomenal lifter, arguably one of the most talented lifters of the last 30 odd years. Incredible lifting. Recently returned to training. We saw him doing like 160 clean and jerks in the last two new shoes ago. Two new shoes. New shoes ago? Two new shoes ago. Two new shows ago. And here he's back again with a front squat and jerk at 220. Um, I assume. With the cleanest pair of Adidas's you've ever seen. I assume this is recent. He said, yes, I have a stomach and breathe badly. Everyone thinks I smoke, but I'm just asthmatic since childhood, but I still work out. <laughs> yes, you do, Andre. He gets after that front squat, which is my favourite part of this. All his squats are like that. He He's just so aggressive. He gets after every one of his squats. Yeah. It's incredible. No, it's a, it's a very entertaining lift to watch, definitely. Oh, this is recent. This is Russia. I thought this was Brazil. But he's just wearing a Brazilian t-shirt. So, 220. Front squat and jerk. Loves this exercise. We've seen him jerk 240 from the rack for a double, but we've also seen him jerk 240 behind the next snatch grip jerk for a triple. Supposedly he's done 280 with that or something, 270 or 280. Andre has a huge list of ridiculous mm. lifts. Uh, notice me, he's triple 200 on the snatch. <laughs> snatch 200 from basically any position that's regularly used. All round, great guy and great yeah. lifter. Fell off the bandwagon after the Beijing Olympics because he was on a high. Nergissa Adila Tully, Kazakhstan lifter, Famed across all of Kazakhstan, is a formerly ninety six. I'd be very interested to know if he's still ninety six. He must be heavier here. Mm-hmm. Has a series of some of the best lifts we've seen him do ever. These are just all time great lifts. Yeah. First up, a hundred ninety kilo block snatch on the danger plates again. Make sure you don't use up all of your excitement because you're going to be very excited after this one. But he's on danger plates. Yeah. Block snatch. The only way I could describe this is casual. Yeah, that just looks like first session of the day. He's not even that hyped after it, but it's 190 kilos from blocks. But there's dark outside. In my opinion, this is the most difficult height from blocks. Why? The just above the knee. Mm. Maybe it's just for me as a longer legged person. I actually think you're just fully wrong on that one because <laughs> for normal weightlifter size people, that's the best position to go from. Yeah, but that, I'm not a normal weightlifter size person. It's all legs, no back. Yeah, which is the opposite of what I need. So... Because it's dark outside, Mm -hmm. that means in Kazakhstan, this is his fifth training today. Yes. So on the danger plates, high blocks, 190. I have to imagine he's moving up. I'd have to imagine he's at least 100 kilos here. Yeah. But either way, very, very good. Yeah, very solid overhead as well. But let's not not get too hasty because then he did it from the floor. Three days later, he put it up. 190 from the floor looking. They've turned the TVs behind the man. Oh, my God. (laughs) How? How easy was that? Oh my god. You will struggle to see a 190 kilo snatch look like that. Uh, anyone below a super. Even yeah. for most supers. It you know, look like yeah, this. yeah. This that is insanely good. good. He's looking beefy, isn't yeah, he? Yeah, he's looking thick. His snatch is so flowy. You know, it's like, it's really, it's not a really powerful snatch. No. Which is a dumb thing to say about a 190 snatch. No, but it's just smooth throughout. Yes. It's not massively aggressive at any point. Kazakhstan make people into fridges. Yeah. That seems to be their model of athletic development is just thickness everywhere. You know, I might be biased here in this, but I would say it's a good model to follow. Yeah. 190 from the floor. Let's after it one more time because it is a very, very good lift. I do want to say I don't like how he loaded 190. I feel like that's just not taking that seriously. I feel like the previous loading of 190. Makes sense. Well, 10 or 15 and a 10 on the outside. Yeah, oh, that was better. That, oh, sorry. I thought you were going to say that how he loaded 190 made sense on the way up. Yes. Yeah. yeah, you could see how it happened. Do you think he knew he was going to do 190 in that day? Yes. No. He certainly knows he's not going beyond 190 without loading. But do you know what else he's going beyond? A 220 kilo <laughs> clean jerk. Stop it. Presumably on the same day because the TVs are on behind him as well. This is a lovely training hall. I wonder did they change the location where the TVs say they are. You know that clean he just did there? First mm-hmm. of all, great lift. Mm-hmm. We normally don't see him move that fast and cleans. And that's the kind of clean where you know, I'm going to lift something really heavy and I need to move as aggressively mm-hmm. as possibly, Blake. Yeah. And Possibly. he did. Not the cleanest 
clean. No. No, his cleans rarely are. But it's 220. Maybe he still that's, is a 96. That's a clean where you know you have a 280 back squat or front squat behind you. He, that's just massive front squat. You can just throw it up there and catch it. He's not... He's not on like An- Archim Antropov levels of squatting. No. He's not on, we saw him recently, I think he squatted like 280 or so on one of Archim's live streams. And it wasn't amazing. You know, it was great, but it wasn't, he's an efficient lifter. He's mm. a very efficient lifter, which is how he should be. Uh, we've seen him front squat like 250, I think at least. Uh, I don't like the wideness of that jerk grip. Yeah. I don't like the wideness of the jerk stance either. But he's making it work. Yeah, it's the main thing I, I kind of look at on his jerk. Incredible lifting from Yeah. Mr. Dilatoli. Now, on to a bit of a controversial post here. Matty Rogers was at the Pan Americans. She clean and jerked. Well, she went for an attempt at 144 kilos. We can watch the video as you were talking. She got the down signal around here. Around here. So then she dropped it. However, she got two white lights. Then it was changed to red lights. Uh, So they actually have a three second ability to change their call within three seconds after they drop after the the, the call is made so mm-hmm. if you press a white you can press a red or vice versa as one of the judges now there's a lot of arguments going on the same as a clean lift she got definitely got the down signal too early without a doubt you shouldn't get the down signal until you've missed or it's very clearly mm-hmm. not a lift so if you bend your elbows you get your three red lights you have to drop it they don't make you try and finish the lift however there was some arguments saying there was a good lift Personally, I think this was never under control. And if I had to speculate, which I will, it was never going to be under control. To advocate for the devil here slightly. Yes, go on. She did her job as an athlete Mm -hmm. to lift the bar until she's told to drop it. Mm -hmm. So I can fully see how people are pushing back as well, but being like, that's unfair. Mm -hmm. Because the judges have done a poor job here. Yes. The, the, The job of the judges to give the down command... If they're not happy she's controlled the bear here, you don't give a down signal. Mm-hmm. You're doing a better job as a judge, and then she'll prove whether she has it under control or not. Uh, so I think that is just very poor judging, and it's nothing really bad in her in her stance, because who's to say it could be the one in a million case where she turns around in a full circle mm-hmm. and controls the bear, <clears throat> but because of poor judging and poor commands, she's not given that opportunity. Yeah, absolutely. The athlete should be given every opportunity to try and finish lift. I, without a doubt, say, on as a principle, this is a bad way that happened, that this poor mm-hmm. call happened. Bad yeah. calls happen in all sports. But I would be honest, I don't think she was robbed of this lift. I don't think this is a lift that she was going to make. And like people, you never see people turn 180 with a lift like this. And that's still going. So the lift was never in control when she got the down signal, which is, I think, most people, yeah. most people aren't really arguing with that. But I think... I yeah, don't think she was going to recover it. Yeah, it's poor judging on a, a lift that was probably never going to be made. I think when you see people windmilling with a barbell like that, you'll see certain big lifters doing it. Mm-hmm. And if someone does it all the time, it's very different. Yeah. If you saw Klockov in his later years going around slightly around the corner like that, you'd be like, yeah, it's probably going to make it. Yes. In her case, you don't see it happening that often. It's mm-hmm. not like a, a kind of mainstay of her lifting, so... Definitely poor call. Yeah. Yet another red mark against the International Weightlifting Federations and how they're run. But fortunately for Matty, this didn't really matter per se for okay. the Epic. So she was there to qualify, I think. Not so much. Obviously, she, you want to win. You mm-hmm. want to get your medals, of course. And you shouldn't be robbed of the chances like that. But thankfully, I suppose in this scenario, she's not. Um, it's not going to ruin her chances at, Tokyo, or at Paris or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So there's some silver lining to that. Now, <laughs> at Youth Worlds, this is even a more controversial thing. So Nikita, 16-year-old, 102 kilo lifter, clean and jerks, 205, in an amazing fashion, a beautiful lift. Lovely. Oh, my God. Just incredible to see. That lean is just amazing. I love everything about this. Yeah. But lads, oh. I've, I've got to say it, because there's no point in making the new show and pretending like, yeah. You know, we're, we're going to be like, oh, okay, it was a good lift. I honestly, and I've said this multiple times, and we always say this, we always make those jokes about people taking drugs, form sensing drugs and sinazolol, and it is funny, and we're joking, and if adults do what they want to do, it's perfect. Teenagers taking drugs is disgusting. Mm-hmm. I have always said that, because you're just at a point in your life where you're not fully formed. You're not a real person until you're like 24. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're making decisions here which you think you want to do them, 
some of the things everyone knows this the things you do when you're 16 you're like i'm gonna do this forever this is amazing yeah and then you're like four years six months later you don't even want to do it anymore now we know these are professional athletes and they're in a very rigorous system but even if they wanted to make that decision to do that it's still the wrong decision because you're still negatively impacting their development later in life yeah it's just fucked up and I, yeah, it, there's yeah. no point in pretending like this isn't what's happening here it's amazing lift and I love how it lifts and if he was 20 I'd be able to appreciate it more mm-hmm. but I'm just still not okay with that it's just too blatant it's hard to appreciate the meal when you know how it was cooked oh ooh, he yeah. looked, there are with the analogies not as like, always not in a car analogy uh one interesting thing on the hooker post, it says mm-hmm. uh, he has the same birthday as Ilya Ilham, which makes me think about thoroughbred racehorses who all have the same <laughs> birthday. <laughs> no, I, I love it. Like, it's, it's an incredible... Li- People are saying the birth certificate is fixed or whatever. It's just androgens mm. too early. Um, mm-hmm. Also, there's 16-year-olds out there who look like him. They, he, he, doesn't look, yeah. he doesn't look that old. There's 16-year-olds no. who don't look that age. Like, it's, not, it's the lift itself, you know. It's an incredible lift. And, of course, we'll be watching his career... Because it's lovely, it's powerful, it's great techers, yeah. but it is a and little bit fast, fast as well. Yeah, but it is uh, unfortunately, as Dara said, something about the meal. <laughs> now on to <laughs> the Korean John Wick. Now I know it's hack, but he's just the Korean John Wick. Block snatching one ninety one. Our favorite ropey lifter. That was really fast for once. Holy mm. shit! That was really good. Yeah, so it's we- a great lift. Little victory half at the end. He jacked, didn't he? He is yakked. Couple of things I don't like here. First thing is the rolling the bar in and out. He does that from the floor, though. I know he does, but from the floor, it's even worse. Oh, absolutely! But he is consistent. Yeah, uh, it's phenomenally nice, though. Korean blocks are amazing. I love those yeah. blocks. That's how blocks should be. There's that no- is like solid oak. They're, ex- they're expensive blocks. I really want to know what happened with the sponsor of that T-shirt <clears throat> that it's now blocked. His turnover is so powerful. It's so like you're not going to make a one ninety one block snatch without. Keep it very, very close. I mean, great extension. But this, uh, it's a great lift for him. He's a 96 kilo lifter. I want to know if he had done 190 before and it's important for him to do 191 because it's a PB and they've demonstrated progress. Yeah. Or mm-hmm. if that's an exact percentage of somewhere he's going. No. It's I, like, this week it will be 191. I, I wonder, is it like getting into the 190s? Maybe. I feel like that could be like a, you've, yes. you know, 190 is nicer than 191 for some reason. I know, but maybe it's like, oh, and 190 doesn't even mean anything. So we're yes. just going to go 191. Into the 190s. I'd really like to know why that decision was made. There's a lot to be said for saying I can snatch in the 190s. Yeah. You know, there's... Or I've snatched more than 190 kilos. <laughs> now, on to some of our strongest teenagers in the world, sticking with that team. We've got Ilya Shersen. 370 kilos for a double. You may remember him from the last week. We did 350 for a double. And here he is, destroying 370 for a double. This is insane. Set a five this week. Last week he could have done eight. I think this week he could have yeah, done five. Yeah, he could have done five. He certainly could have done three or four. But that it. is insanely good. I love how he immediately knew that guy was going to come and take off his wraps <laughs> after. He just leans on the bar. He's like, waist sleeve. I'd say, sleeve. I'd say those wraps are uncomfortable. Do you know, when normally that wider grip is really unstable, unless... You have a massive back. Mm. Look at that. He's and just, he does have a massive back. Maybe that's his coach. His maybe. Equipment slave. 370 for a double. Apparently in work boots. It looks like work boots or boxing boots. Yeah, I was about to say they look more like wrestling shoes. I'd prefer if it was work boots. I'd be happier if it yeah. was. A little pair of like steel toe cap boots. <laughs> Incredible no, lifting. It's so, so good. That's when you need a monolift as well. That's when you're like massive knee wraps on. Mm-hmm. It's 370 kilos. Yes. You're obviously not going to walk it out. Yeah. You've two people either side. Mm-hmm. That's powerlifting done right in my case. That is. Yeah. That is. That is a great lift. Yeah. They're just everything about this is right. So, so good. I love how clean the gym is as well. Yeah. Next up, we've got Krista Turvo, who is a hammer thrower. And I think she should probably be called Krista Turbo. She's missing out on something there. Yeah. 170 kilos for a triple. Once again, throwers are at it again. They're making a fool away. See how fast she's squatting she this up? does a little jump at the top because the barrel keeps moving and she just has to keep going with it. 50 kilo plates because she doesn't give a fuck. No. 170 for Those a Those 50 kilo plates are heaviest thing in the world. They weigh the same as four 20 kilo plates. <laughs> that is... <clears throat> that is... That's where you want your throwers training as well. That kind of gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Old school. Chips, floors. Yes. Yeah. 
just once like we don't see a lot of heavy back squats to full depth with our female throwers so it's great to see what it's like Mm -hmm. so absolutely demolishing this this man on the right hand side is a giant of a man as well have that is exactly who you need like coaching or spotting your throwers you'd have to imagine he was at some point a thrower himself yes yeah yeah the size of his calves let me know he was probably bigger at some point yes and he was also throwing things and he's pretty big right now now speaking of pretty big right now Mm -hmm. Anthony (laughs) Joshua for a combat sports section is looking nothing definitely He's looking as big as I've ever seen him. I think this is the biggest he's ever been. He has as well, like, the hollowness in the face mm-hmm. with the massiveness, you know. That's androgen scarf. It's the overall thickness of every yes. body part. Like, the torso is super thick. The pecs, the titties are pretty thick. Yeah. The neck is thick, which is very important. The arms are thick. The shoulders are thick. The forearms are thick. When he's wearing the training gusset crouch thing, yeah. and it looks like the same thickness of the body the whole way down, you know he's put on some size. This will upset a lot of people because a lot of people have machinations on Anthony Joshua's boxing style, uh, being too kind of robotic, not very skillful. A lot of people like to jump on him when he loses, say he's mm-hmm. too muscle bound, he's too much muscle, he's not a great boxer in that regard. This will fuel that, and the only way is he fucking knocks someone out in the next yeah. boxing match. I don't know who he's fighting next. He's lost some recent bouts, he's won some recent bouts. Uh, his star was on the rise up for a long time there. Yeah. Um, he, people thought he'd develop more as a boxer, I think, but now he's. Uh, you know what, Garth? Massive. Raw athleticism and doing quite well in the arena is no bad thing. It's it's uh, you won't hear me saying no. otherwise. So, be interesting to see who who he's going to move on next and what's going to happen. Jermaine Franklin. I'm going to say this isn't going to be good. <laughs> for he, I'm going to agree with those people to be honest. Okay. I just don't think this will be great for his boxing. Muscle is costly. Muscle is very expensive. <clears throat> and any extra kilos is an, uh, an additional problem on your VO2 max. And this looks like there's several additional kilos. Unless this is just a class photo for some reason. Maybe it is. Maybe he's been sprayed down and pumped up. Oh, like, this looks as big as he's ever... Like, he's always been big, but... This looks like extra, like, this is like Mike Tyson out yeah. of jail. See, he used to look really athletic. Yes. And actually not not massive. He was just very athletic and in great shape, like, held a lot of muscle. Yes. Now he just looks massive. I hope that's like a clip from when he was on a heavy bulk. And now he's like 16 weeks in a fight. And yeah. he's like coming back down. Leaned down. Yeah. Like, last some of the bulk. Mm-hmm. I, f- I feel like someone who talks about at least being muscle bound by saying last some of the bulk. <laughs> last some of the additional weight and is a bit more efficient now, but kept a lot of that power, hopefully. It's just the aerobic. Yes. The aerobic system is so taxed by that extra weight. Thanks for watching the new show. would like to say thank you to everyone who tags us in, in, in Instagram. Hugely appreciate it. Really love them. Every week, look at every single one of them. So thanks to everyone who posts those. And we take a lot of people's... Uh, tags into it a lot of times i'll see something and i'll see like two or three or four tags from people in it so really appreciate it thank you so much keep tags and stuff literally anything you think is interesting nothing is out of the realm of possibility that we might include in the new show so please keep it up it means a lot to us and i hope you enjoy today's new show we'll be back next week from our normal seats with normal lighting and normal audio see you soon Today's new show is brought to you by the Seeker Strength Weightlifting 2.0 Weightlifting Program. So this is the next iteration in our weightlifting programs. It is 12 weeks in length, four sessions per week, and it includes everything you'll need to do to get better at weightlifting.